dealing with stress in the Philippines, how do you deal with it? First thing I want to say is not let anything bother you too much. Um, I was talking to somebody earlier about the difference between the UK and Spain. Um, in the UK, there was an argument about a parking space that involved somebody being dragged out of their car to be punched in the face. Here in Spain, I had somebody pointing at me at a one-way street, giving the as if I should move, and I simply turned around and turned around and goes, look, you know, and then she realized she was sitting heading up the wrong way up a one-way street, and it was like a cringe, reverse, no problem. At no point did anybody actually aggressively act with each other. They just simply went, look what you do it. Um, that's the way to handle most things in the Philippines. If you simply just turn around and go, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if somebody's burning rubbish in the morning, or you just turn around and go. You know, it's maybe cough in the morning, whatever. Can you? do it later in the evening or whatever people will often just say okay fair enough but if you start growling and arguing with people it creates a bigger issue um, so that's that's why I say you know like you want to be this sort of almost monotone just to turn around and say look uh, it's, it's bothering me can you do something about it um, in the same way, you can ask wh whoever it is. You know, you may be renting an apartment from somebody, the owner, you turn around and say, can you ask them to do X, Y, Z? And the owner will approach those people and solve the problem for you. Um, don't let things bother you too much. Everything's got a solution. Um, I've never had anything in the Philippines that was impossible to deal with beyond the odd individual that was just childish um, to the point that they were actually recognized as being stupid or um, impossible to deal with. Um, but even then, the people that actually turn around and say they're an idiot, you just turn around and say, but I need this or whatever, and they'll say, let me deal with it. They'll, they'll sort them out for you. Do not let things bother you too much because it's those little things that will destroy your time in the Philippines if you let it. You just need to sit and work out how you can do it diplomatically um, because you may think the name of burning rubbish is they're doing it from a victimization point of view, etc. But you may not be aware that they burned the rubbish there for less than 10 years and don't even think about it coming through your air conditioning or anything else because your air conditioning wasn't there. Until you arrived, it wasn't a problem. And this is what you got to look at. A lot of people do not think that far ahead. A lot of stuff in the Philippines is very short term. It's why people wait till kids go to school and go, oh, I haven't got enough money for their kids' books or stuff. And it's like, they've been out drinking for the last six months and you haven't put any money aside for this? Welcome to the Philippines. Don't let things bug you. Thanks for watching.